Hello world, hola, good day, ni hao. How y'all doing? Welcome into Over 50 and Fantabulous. I'm just checking in with you guys. And yesterday I had told you that Mr. S was going in for a job interview. Well, guess what? Let's clap for him now. He got the job. Yes, indeed. I said, you have got to take your wife out this weekend to celebrate. I am. Let me tell you something. I, 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 he, pick, he picks me up because uh, he had to go to the interview and do a few things. So he picks me up after work. By the way, we got off of work early. Yay! <laughs> it's a yay not to be at work. It's a nay for the three and a half hours less uh, per hour of money I will not be receiving. But anyways, I digress. So anyways, he has the job. Very excited for him. And so um, I says, well, got to give you money. So I got to stop at the store. Might as well just let me run in the store. Use the store as my bank to overwrite the check. I don't know if any of you can relate to that. If I sound like I'm crazy, but I use my grocery store as my bank if I don't feel like walking down the street. So you just overwrite the check, get the cash, and pay what you need to pay. Does anybody do that? Am I the only one that does that? I don't think so. <laughs> so I have been naughty lately as far as eating goodies and stuff like that. And I got to be careful because the first indicator is the belly. Uh, we fantabulous women, the fantabulous women in my family, it's the belly. It's always the belly, you know. I would look like a 50-something-year-old uh, a 50 50 woman that's about eight months pregnant. I'm telling you, it's weird in my family. So anyways, I, you know, I have to get back into behaving. And thank goodness that I walk for a living. And I do walk on purpose on the weekends. That is my form of exercise. So instead of eating naughties, you know, I try to behave. I'm no food pro, but I wanted ice cream really bad. I says I'm not going to get the ice cream. How do I place my sweet? So I went on ahead and got my chewy yogurt blueberry and my chewy yogurt strawberry. It's replace. That's how I lost 30 pounds. I started replacing because I can eat a half a cake by myself. Yes, I can. I can eat if the one of those little um, uh, cheesecakes, you know, little itty bitties that you get in the frozen section. I can eat the whole thing in a weekend by myself. So I got to be very careful. There's just something in me where you want the sweet. It's called a food addiction. When you're a little kid and you have Nestle's Quick Chocolate and chocolate chip cookies every single day, that's drilled in here. And it's not only just the satisfaction of the sweet, it's psychologically satisfying. So, you know, I had to change it up. I had to change it up. So I kind of will do things like that. And believe it or not, something as simple as this, as these raisins, and the other thing I do like is I love, I don't know if you guys like it, but I love applesauce. And it's just, I get the cinnamon kind, now that's just me. It's just replacing. It's like, okay, instead of a piece of chocolate cake, maybe I can go ahead and get the chocolate pudding. Like Jell-O has a, it's a dark chocolate pudding. It tastes, it, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. But I digress. And I was looking at I was I was looking at the, the deli meats and stuff like that, just too much salt. So I went for the because of my budget, y'all know I'm so limited at the moment. So I went on ahead and I got some fish. And I have my you know that you guys know I don't eat white bread and this is what I eat. There is the name Tufayan or Tufayan pita right so and the other thing that I have is a, a humongous um, do I have time to get it for do I have time to get it and show you okay thank you guys for waiting I have the, the ginormous got this out of my freezer 
the bird's eye frozen vegetables. I mean a ginormous one. So whether I have brown rice with the vegetables and the fish, or I don't want a whole meal, sometimes I'm not that hungry, I will actually take the pita and a piece of fish and some veggies and then drizzle a little bit of a little bit of dressing on there, you know? You know, I can do it on but it's on a budget, you know what I mean? It's 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 expensive. This is gonna sound kind of crazy. But if you notice that you can go into Mickey D's or something like that or wherever you go and the dollar menu and yen, you can get stuff really cheap. But it's it's a lot of it is very fattening. I'm preaching to the choir to some of you that that are well aware of this. Anywho, just wanted to show you. Um, oh yeah, and I'm I'm guilty of the cheeses, uh, specifically the white cheddar cheese. It. I love to snack, and there are days where I just, especially in the summer, you don't feel like a big a big potato gravy type regular big meal you just want something small the first thing that I did which was very difficult to do it took about two weeks I had to control my portions and I had to re-shrink my stomach from the inside I had to re-shrink that thing down and that was tough because I just wanted to I, I mean, I could eat five or six pieces of bacon and three or four eggs. I'm not kidding. I could I could eat like a man. You know what I mean? It, it was emotional eating. I'm addicted to food. So, by the grace by the grace of God, you know, just praying and 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 and, and just forcing myself, having a set goal for the way I wanted to look. I'm no glamour queen, but. For me in my life, I needed to, you know, just kind of get a little bit smaller, you know. You get a little bit older and, and having a, a lot of extra weight can make things very difficult when you're older. It makes things difficult when you're younger, but when you're older, my gosh, yes. But anywho, this is just a quick check-in. I wanted to let you know that my buddy got his job. I wanted to let you know that I got off early and I stopped and picked up some of my faves. Yeah, I will be back um, to you guys. I know this isn't that exciting, but I don't know. When something happens or I do something, I like talking to you guys about stuff, you know? All right, guys, I'm going to see you in my next video. And please, if you have not yet, Please subscribe and please send others my way. I would be so grateful to you for that. Okay? I will see you uh, in my next video. I love you guys. Arrivederci. Adios. Good day. Bye, you guys.